Today, I'm going to show you how I set up my lash base for faster, more efficient lashing. If you're a lash artist who also wants to shorten your appointment time by at least 15 minutes, then keep watching to see how I set up for every appointment. So having everything ready and at your fingertips saves way more time than you think. That's why this particular lash pillow and shelf duo is my best friend when it comes to efficiency. If you want this exact same setup too, I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description box below. So before my client arrives, I like to have everything set up so they don't have to waste any time scrambling for supplies during the appointment. Because I'm right-handed, I like to have my most touched items on the right side of my lash pillow setup. That means my isolation tweezer, my pickup tweezer is on the right side, my spoolie for brushing the lashes, and my disposable applicator for cleansing the lashes is also on the right side. And then on my left side of the lash pillow, which I don't really touch too often, is my backup tweezers and my nano mister. The rule of thumb for me is that if I'm going to use the supply more than once during the appointment, it's going to go on the right side of my lash setup just because I'm right-handed so it's easier for me to reach. And if I'm going to use the item only once or if not at all any times during the appointment, then it's going to go to the left side of my pillow setup, which is something that I don't really reach for much. I also like to pre-cut and prepare strips of tape before the appointment so that I don't have to be scrambling for it when I need it. So I do pre-cut around 6 to 8 strips per appointment, which is usually enough for me to use for the bottom lashes, to tape the upper lids, to maneuver the lashes, or to tape up the lashes during the appointment. Every lash artist is different, but for me, 6 to 8 strips is just enough. And of course, I like to prepare the under eye gel pad. I make sure I prepare it only 5 minutes before the appointment to avoid the gel pad from drying out, so not any more than 5 minutes before the appointment. And I do cut 2 strips on the under eye gel pad so that I can easily maneuver the gel pad underneath the eyes when it needs adjusting. And of course, um, just in case I do need more tape during my appointment for whatever reason, I do keep my tapes ready within arm's reach in my pillow shelf. And of course, there's my lash adhesive as well. And I do like to prepare my lash tile according to the client who's coming in. If it's a repeat client, I already know the client. So I typically already know what curl and lengths I'll need for the appointment. So I will prepare it on the lash tile. And I do make sure to have the lash trays needed to refill these lash strips handy as well. You'll see later in the video where I set them aside in my lash pillow shelf. And I do like to keep a pen handy just in case I need to draw a lash map or make notes on the gel pad if needed. And I have that on my left side of the pillow since I might not really need it much. And then I have my gel cleanser here for me to clean and prep the lashes. And of course, the last thing I do before the appointment starts is I give my adhesive a good shake. Be sure to shake it for at least one minute. And that's how my lash setup looks before every appointment. I hope this helps. It really does help me save at least 15 minutes per appointment, which does add up. Let me know in the comments below what else you do to shorten your appointment times. 